Well, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kenny. Great to be back with you again. Remember a few weeks ago, we told you that we would be back? Well, we are, and we're happy to be back. We're feeling okay, feeling really, really good. Of course, you know, many of you, you know, you watched our video, and you, you remember. Uh, that we had surgery, and I just want to say thank you to all of you for your prayers. Really, really, I consider you to be special to me. I could go on and on about that, but I'm grateful to God. Did you hear what I said? I'm grateful to God. God is faithful. God is good. He's good all the time. He's full of mercy. He's full of love, and he's so good to us. Amen. He is so good to us. I want to say a special hello to all of my viewers. I say that with a, a kind heart, and, and really I mean what I'm talking about. I'm sincere. I want to tell you something. I was raised on a little tiny farm. I'm a farm boy. I'm a country boy, if you will. Yes, I'm proud to be a country boy. I love hunting, I love God, and I love shooting guns. Praise God. Praise the Lord. God has been good to me. He really has. And I've noticed you notice a, a little change of menu here. Uh, I am actually inside. Uh, it's cold outside. We have avoided a few tornadoes that didn't really... We didn't have a lot of issues with maybe some high wind, but uh, some of the surrounding counties and states here close to us have really been hit pretty rough with tornadoes. But I'm inside. It's cold outside. Uh, it's windy, and I decided to move inside just for this one particular time. I'm an outdoor boy, but I can handle that when the wind's high. Let's get into the scripture. And, of course, you know I'm going to bring to you another beautiful God. I want to use these specs again. It's a little bit dark in this room. But, nevertheless, let me read. I want to start in 2 Timothy 4. Praise God. Listen, if you like this kind of content, I want to encourage you to share this video with your friends and with your family. You know, I would love to get quite a few views on a video like this. We're used to getting an average of 150, 200, maybe three, sometimes maybe five or six or whatever. But a video like this, I consider it to be something that everybody should have an interest and have a desire to watch and should have access to it. So share it with your friends and family, and I would appreciate it. The Apostle Paul says here, in verse 6, Timothy 4, verse 6, For I am now ready to be offered. What is he talking about? Well, let me finish up. I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. Of course, we know he's talking about his life. He's talking about his life. He's now ready to be offered, and his departure, his death. That's what he's talking about. For I'm now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. Notice what a powerful testimony that is for one to say. I have fought a good fight, and I've finished my course, and I have kept the faith. Kept the faith. And he said, verse 8, Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord the righteous judge shall give to me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Now think about that for just a few minutes. Here it is. The Apostle Paul has virtually finished his ministry as well as his life. And he know he knows that the odds of him living much longer are actually not really that well or that good, because he said, "I've finished my course, and the time of my departure is at hand." 
So you think about this. This man had an evident, and I'm talking about an unwavering faith, believing and realizing and knowing that once he passed from this life and he would be executed. Now, we don't know exactly altogether. The scripture is not clear as to what method it was that he lost his life with. Of course, we know that many of the apostles in the past, uh, previous apostles such as uh, Peter, James, and John, etc., many of them were actually uh, crucified. And and some of them, they, they died in various ways. But according to what I can read, the apostle Paul probably was a martyr and he was probably beheaded by the Roman emperor. He was probably beheaded. And so many of them, including the Apostle Paul, he is saying, it's time for me to get out of here. I know my departure is at hand. But he made the, he made the statement and he says, I have finished my course and I have kept the faith. I'm telling you today, folks, listen, we need to be alert and be aware of what's going on. And we need to know and realize and understand that in order to reach heaven's goal and in order to uh, really, really, when this life is over, inherit that beautiful country called heaven, we are needing and we should, we should keep the faith. We've got to keep the faith. So I'm saying to you today, we need to be strong. We need to be strong in this country. And listen, our country is falling. It is falling. It is falling. And we're headed into the uncertain. And in many cases, it's uh, insanity. It's insanity today to live in this type of environment in this country. Christians, listen, we are being persecuted. We are being persecuted. Why are we being persecuted? Why are we being persecuted? It's because that we love God and we proclaim the cross of Christ and, and we believe and we know that there's an everlasting father in heaven that loves us and he's got a prepared, he's got a place prepared for us. And then one day we're going to leave this life just like the apostle Paul did and we will go to heaven. But see the opposite, the far left, they don't like Christianity. Of course, you know, they have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. And there were people at that particular time back then. And he said today they would be even worse. They would have a form of godliness, but they would deny the power thereof. He said, I fought a good fight. Listen, it's not always easy living for Christ because we have such opposition. We have such opposition. And I'm going to say this, and I believe this with all of my heart. The Bible teaches us, if God be for us, if God be for us, who can be against us? Who is he that stout shall stand against the word of God? Who is he? If God be for us, who can be against us? And listen, folks, all across this country, this country is split right down the middle. Half is for righteousness, and the other half is for unrighteousness. And I'm telling you, this country is growing every day toward socialism. They want to bring us into bondage. They want to shut us up and they want to put us up and they want to keep us out. And they want to uh, really just uh, uh, bring us under bondage in every way. They want to take your guns. They want to take your rights. They want to stop you from praying. They don't want you to read your Bible. They don't want you to say anything about the Lord Jesus Christ. And they, they, they don't want to say any, they don't want you to say anything about Christianity. They're persecuting. You know, it made me mad when the leader of our country came out and right on Easter, right on the a holy day for many, many, many Christians all around the world. He has to go out and declare. Well, you know what I'm talking about, these trans and an LBGTQ, whatever they call that thing. Listen, I'm old fashioned and you can criticize me if you want to. But listen, he really just slapped Christians right in the face right on Easter, declaring it to be 
a day of the trans. That's an abomination before God. The scripture teaches us as it was in the days of Lot. Shall also it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. It's worse now than it was then. It's far worse. It's far worse now. So you see right now, folks, with all of this going on, it is so close to the coming of the Son of God. It is so close. We need to stand. Listen, if you've ever stood as a Christian, let me tell you what. It's time to fight. The Apostle Paul said, I have fought a good fight. I've fought a good fight, and I've finished my course, and I've kept the faith. We need to roll up our spiritual sleeves and say so. Come on, say amen, praise the Lord. We need to roll up our sleeves and start to fight. And I'm not talking about bullets flying and fists flying. I'm talking about fighting a good fight of faith. You need to stand like a statue when someone comes up to you and says, Who are you? What are you? And what do you stand for? You say, I stand for the Lord Jesus Christ and I'm not afraid. I'll fight this good fight of faith right down to the end. You know something? America is worth fighting for. It's your heritage. It's your children's heritage if they make it. But listen, this administration is evil. Come on. You know what I'm talking about. It takes an evil person, an evil heart, to make a mockery out of Easter with people that I don't even consider human. Listen, it's not human for a person to have be part female and part male or part male and part female. That's not human. Don't send me no nasty emails, please. Don't do that because I'm telling you the truth and I'm sincere. I'm telling you the truth and I'm sincere. I'll just delete them. Don't send them to me. Don't waste your time. And I certainly don't want you to waste mine. But listen, this country is headed for judgment. It's headed for judgment. And I'm going to tell you this. Listen. Right now, the way it looks, socialism. You know, we need men and women in Washington that will stand up against this evil. You know, I have to say with sincerity, there's one, only one thing I like about the far left. Only one thing I like about them. I like their loyalty. They stick together. I'm talking about they stick together like super glue sticking to both sides of a piece of paper, and they work like fire ants on the ground. They don't fight each other. They fight with each other, and you know what their agenda is? Is to bring you under bondage and bring you into slavery, bring you into communism, bring you into socialism, and that's what their agenda is. And they're not going to quit. They work 24-7, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and the Republicans are too busy fighting themselves. And they were afraid of them. They were afraid of them. I, I literally believe that the Republicans in Washington are afraid of Democrats. Because most of the times they vote right along with them. All the measures and all of the the things that are on the agenda of the Republican Party are dropped, and they, and they vote with the Democrats. That's Listen, that's, that's crazy. Give us men that's got backbone. Men that's got backbone and they're not afraid to stand up against the enemy. I don't want to see the country go down the tubes. I don't. But I'm going to tell you, I believe this. I don't believe there will ever be, I don't believe there will ever be a fair election in this country again. I really don't think there will be. No. There may be one other president that will be elected. And praise God, I hope he is. Yes, I hope he is. And you know what I'm talking about. You can look him on a hat. And you know what I'm standing for. Probably be the last one. And then the country is plunged into socialism. Oh my goodness, there's no accountability in this country.
No, 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 no. The Democrats can do whatever they want to. They can do or say and do and never everything in the world, do whatever thing in the world they want to do and they get away with it. There's no accountability. No accountability. The country is going to be turned over to a reprobate mind. Lawlessness is the order of the day. Lawlessness. Listen, this land is your land. It's my land. It belongs to your children and your children's children. It doesn't belong to illegal immigrants. Now, you can say what you want to say or believe or whatever you want to think about that. But this country belongs to the American people. It does not belong to illegal immigrants. You may say, you, you say all of that and you call yourself a child of God. Let me tell you something. Our forefathers, and I take my hat off to them for the Constitution, and all of the men and women that fought for our freedom, the men and women and all of the wars that we have had, American patriots that gave their life for the freedoms of yours and mine and for your children and your children's children. They gave their lives and they fought for the freedoms that you and I seem to just take for granted. And let me tell you something, they fought to make you free. They fought to set you free. They fought that you could live in this country and be free and be safe. My hat's off to all of those patriots and beautiful veterans that fought for this country. And it cost them their life, and it cost them their blood. And yes, let me tell you something. I'm a Christian. I'm a child of God. And let me tell you something. I believe in fighting for what's right, and for what's good, and for what's decent, and what's honorable, and what's right before God. This country has lost its way, and if it doesn't go down to its knees, it's going to go down the tubes, and it's already headed down that way. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I've been around the block a time or two. It's incredible. I'm telling you, it'll blow your mind to think of what's going on right now. It's so scary. And you say, it'll get better. We pray that it will. We pray that it will. But if it keeps going like it is right now, your country will be lost. What can you do? You can pray. Fight a good fight of faith. Stand up and be a child of God. Get some backbone. Get some guts. Stand up and tell it like it is. Tell it like it is. Don't be afraid to proclaim your faith. Don't be afraid to say that you love Jesus. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I'm telling you what. This country, when it comes time to vote, let me tell you, you better show up and cast your ballot. You better. You better. That's you can go down to your knees and pray. Seek the face of God for this country that's being lost. And go to that ballot box and pull that lever or push that button, whatever, and let your vote be counted. Stand up for God. Listen, Christians are going to be hailed just like they were in the days of old. They'll lock you up if you say you love Jesus. They will. They'll lock you up. They'll do everything in the world to stop you. That's what the devil wants to do. The devil's using methods these days like we have never dreamed it would ever, ever occur. He's using them. I could go on and on and on, but i got to show you a beautiful gun. People send your prayers. Would you do that? I appreciate it. I want to tell you that my wife She's still at home. Occasionally, she has to be admitted to the hospital. 
but my wife is holding her own. She's got bad lungs, and of course she's a cancer survivor. But we're taking care of her at home. My daughter and I, we're doing that. That's how we do it. I'm a caregiver. My daughter is a caregiver. And we are doing it. That's how you do it. Listen, there's just one way to do things and do it right. Just one way to do a thing, and that's do it right. Praise God. Stand up for Jesus Christ. Don't be afraid to share your faith. Don't be afraid to just reach out there and say, I love the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. I love him. I love him. I love him. And one day you'll hear Jesus say, Come thou blessed of my father. Come thou blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundations of the world. And it will be sooner, much sooner than later. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Jesus is coming back. The Lord's coming back. I'm going to show you a handgun. Praise God. Take a look at this beauty. Yeah. Take a look at that beauty. It's not loaded. So I'm going to get it right up to the camera so you can see it. Take a look at that. Isn't that something? Now, I've not shot a 12-gauge shotgun since I had the surgery. I haven't. I haven't shot a 12-gauge shotgun. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to do it just yet. No, I'm not. But I'll get to it very shortly. What is that, Kenny? Take a look. That is a beautiful Ruger Mark IV. 2245 Tactical. Now that should get your attention. Now listen, I've I've shot a few of these Rugers. Uh, they made, of course, one, two, three, and of course this being four, and I'm pretty sure five is maybe in the process of being made even as we speak. But this is a tactical. Now notice that. And there's some features about it that I love. Now, of course, you know that the three had a big old long bull barrel on it. And it was a little bit heavier than this one. But this one right here has got some features to it. Being a tactical, notice this. Now, I'm going to show you. Look at this. Here you can put just any kind. You can put just any kind of gear that you want on this. Now I'm talking about you can put a red dot, green dot, scope, etc. You can put a laser on this thing. Yeah, you can put a laser on it. Now I told you that it was. Now look. I'm, I pulled that back for that purpose. Now let me show you. Right here. These right here. Here's your features. You can take and they're so easy to use. Look at this. Like that. Now that one's a little bit stiff, but this is almost new. It's almost new. All of your switches that you want to use are right here. And you can use them with one finger like that. Take a look at that. They're not way over out of the way, but I pulled that back for that purpose. Now notice this. Isn't that neat? All of your all of your little things there. Your little switch and your little things are right there. Now notice this magazine. Let me get up here. I can do this. Right here we go. There we are. Now there's something about that holds 10 plus one in a barrel. Notice that. That's metal. That's real metal. Now, I've not got it, like I said, I've not got it loaded. That is real metal, not plastic. Now, there's a big difference in that. Now, let me put it back in here. That is made of some of the finest metal that's in the, the gun industry. 
Ruger, let me tell you, this thing, it's got those precision rifles that make it so accurate. Precise rifling makes it so, so accurate. And notice this receiver here. Look at that. No hang-up shear. No. This is a 22 long rifle, and I'm going to tell you, it's one of the most accurate that I believe I've shot in a long time. It really is. And here's a feature that I love. Now notice that, that right there. I got to tell you about that adjustable sight. Now this one's not really been sighted in. It's, it's that new. It really is. But that's an adjustable sight. Notice that beautiful bead. That beautiful color, black. Oh my God, that's so beautiful, that black is. And right here, you can take that out and put a suppressor on it. You can dress this up to any specification, any size, any type and shape that you want. You can put anything you want on this Ruger. And I'm going to tell you something. That would be one of the first things right there you would want to put on that if you like it really, really quiet. It's, it's not really that loud, but that suppressor, put that, take that and put that suppressor on there. Oh, it's just so smooth and so, so quiet. Now listen, home defense. You know that I harp a lot about that. And you know why I harp a lot about that? Because it's reality today. That right there, my friends, will absolutely be perfect for home defense. Come on, Kenny, you can't be serious. Yes, that right there works like a clock. And I'm telling you, it's as smooth and accurate as you can get in a handgun. And it's perfect for home defense. I'm talking about perfect for home defense. Listen. If you don't have something to protect yourself with, you're taking a risk. You're running a very high risk of your family, of your family, being hurt or even shot and killed by someone that will invade your home. Oh, that's happening all across the country. If you don't have something like this, you're in a big denial. Don't denial realistic things that are occurring across this country right now. You have a right to protect yourself. I said you have a right to protect yourself. You need something like this for home defense. Something that you can count on and something that will be reliable. Listen, I don't want to kill anybody. Never have, never will. God forbid that I would do anything like that, but I'm going to tell you something. If somebody enters my home without my permission and invades my home, what is he coming in your home for? You think it's coming into your home to drink coffee? Or to play checkers? Or play video games? He's coming into your home to rob you and kill you. <clears throat> you need to understand something. It's either kill him or he's going to kill you. Lord, help us. It's all across the country. These illegal immigrants are coming by the thousands. And let me tell you something. They don't know nothing about laws. They don't care about laws. And the country that they came for, if they didn't come out of prison, they're criminals on the streets. And they kill anybody that they, do, that they want to at random, and nobody puts them away. You've seen it in the news just recently how that, that young lady down there in Georgia was literally beaten to death by an illegal Listen, they don't know nothing about rules. They don't know nothing about keeping laws. And our country is vastly, vastly becoming a lawless society. 
these criminals can kill whatever, whomever they want to, and judge will let them go free. You know what I'm talking about. So you better get something to protect yourself. I challenge you. I challenge you as a Christian. Stop being a wimp. God has not got any use for a wimpy Christian. You need to get some guts, get some courage, and get a gun to defend yourself if you don't have one. This would be ideal, perfect. It's affordable. It's a Ruger made in America. It's a Ruger. It's beautiful. It weighs about a pound and a half, I'm not sure. Didn't really check it to see. I just know it's a beautiful, accurate, and I've shot it. Yes, I know what it is. It's a beautiful, accurate oh, gun that you need in your possession. That is a Ruger 22. Yes, 22. It's so beautiful to look at. Let me tell you, that right there, one day will become a classic. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful, and so well worth every penny that you pay for it. Yes, it is. It's worth every penny that you pay for it. I'd like to give it 10 stars, but I'll give it five. Five, five, yes, yes, without even thinking about it, give it five. That's a beautiful. It comes with an extra magazine. Yes, an extra magazine. Absolutely, highly recommend it to you. If you're looking for a gun, look no closer, look no farther than looking at this one right here. It's perfect for home defense, perfect for home defense. You can put it right where you want to keep it and keep it handy just in case. I said a moment ago, I haven't killed anybody and God forbid that I ever would do something like that. But if it came to an invasion of my home, you know I'm going to shoot that man before he kills me and kills my family. I'll take him out. I won't, don't want to, don't even want to think about it. God forbid. But if push comes to shove, he comes into my house, breaks into my house. I know he's after me. He wants to kill me. He wants to take and rob and he wants to steal what I've got. Take him out. You won't have no choice. It's either kill or be killed. Which one do you want to do? Pretty obvious to me what you should say to me back for that. God bless you today. God bless you. Hey, listen, once again, five stars for this beautiful Ruger. Ah, uh, yes. So now we're going to go see what this Ruger, we'll, sh we'll show you what it does, okay? So you, you hang around. We're ready to shoot this gun, folks. So before we do that, we got to put one in the barrel. So let's do it. Ready to go. Now, take a look out there. Look at that safety switch. How easy that is. One finger. It's ready to go. Let's do it. Keep your eye out there on that target right there. And I want to show you what this gun will do. We're going to make some noise. Let's do it. All right. We enjoyed bringing that to you folks. Listen, that thing is accurate, super accurate. And I'm telling you, reliable and durable. If you're looking for something like this, listen, don't look any farther than that Ruger, that Ruger. Listen, if you like what we're doing, if you like my content, like I said earlier, don't hesitate to share this with your friends and family. Share it with your friends and family. And above all, don't forget, you might be a new listener or viewer rather. Don't forget, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Would you do that? So thank you again for watching. You have a blessed day.